Good afternoon, guys, and happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. I was right. Um, I've got my Meyer haul for you guys today. Um, also, too, guys, I did slightly get my um, what's it called? My uh, desk sort of cleared off, which I told you guys was one of the things I wanted to do today. Um, and I ended up getting that done, which I was super happy about. Um, so it's really awesome. That's like I said, done with. Um, now, um, we also went to Meyer. I did have a couple extra things I ended up adding to my Meyer list today. Um, so I ended up going over that a little bit too. I was also watching the Bulls game. They were on, um, like, because they were playing in Paris today. So um, I was watching that. I was on at like, I think two o'clock or something. So um, I was finishing up my Meyer list while I was watching that and then also to cleaning off my desk. So um, anyway, we got back from Meyer. Um, everything worked out, all my coupons. I have to wait for sure on the Ibotta offers, but everything should most likely go through because I checked everything while I was in the store. Um, and then on top of that too, there was two things though that did not wind up exactly working out. Um, well, not that they didn't work out. I couldn't find them or they didn't have them um, left in, in the store. So um, two things I didn't end up doing, but other than that, everything else worked out perfectly so let me share with you guys what I did wind up doing and all the deals and everything I got and you know all that stuff so I did also get a little extra surprise too I did wind up getting a two dollar Catalina off my future purchase um, and it said compliments of General Mills so I'm thinking that maybe because the box tops for education like they had that now I do know that they did have some type of like promo and they had a lot of their General Mills stuff that was on sale so these were all the items I picked up the Annie's um, more of that the Nature Valley in the fiber one those are are all General Mills products. Um, so because of that though, um, I ended up earning $2 back on a future purchase. So I'm not sure exactly how many you need to buy in order to get that. If it's like, oh, you have to just buy four, you have to buy six or eight or whatever participating products. I, like I said, I think they did have some type of promo running, but I just noticed that it was like, oh, the box tops for education thing. Um, cause normally they do that at the start of the year and then also the back to school. Um, you know, cause normally a lot of times it's like second semester, like start of the new year kind of thing. So they'll do a lot of times like the box tops for education, big pushes at the grocery store kind of thing. But also too, they will wind up doing it obviously the back to school time, which is, you know, for like, um, you know, in, you know, September, August, whatever. Um, but like, was saying right now they had that going on but um they i didn't notice anything that said like you know oh if you buy so many participating products you get you know the dollars you know back on your future purchase kind of thing so like i said i'm not entirely sure i didn't notice that i did go over the ad a couple times so i could have missed it still but i'm kind of thinking that it was just not entirely advertised and on top of that too i had a um my weekend warrior bonus for ibotta was when you redeem eight participating offers you get three dollars back i did ten so I should most likely get that extra $3 bonus back as well. So that was where five of the, um, you know, like, I guess kind of bonus money that I wasn't actually expecting or planning on getting back, I did get back from, um, you know, so let me share with you guys. So the total for these items would have been $95.15. I paid $54.11. I saved $41.04 and got back $15.20. So like I was saying, five of that was either between the bonus from Ibotta and also the $2 from the General Mills products. So um, 10, 20 of that was just the regular things that I was planning on getting back anyway for buying the participating products. But again, that bonus extra bucks that you can always wind up getting are really awesome. Um, so my net cost was only $38.92, which is awesome. I paid under 40 bucks net cost for all these items, which I think is really awesome. And I will be honest too, these Annie's, the organic cheddar snack mix, I love these and they were not cheap still, even with the sale and the coupon that I ended up having, but I never can like bear to pay retail for price for these because they're normally so expensive, but I still got a deal on them. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and kind of, you know, just <laughs> go ahead and pick them up. Since I did wind up, like I said, getting a semi-decent sale on them um, and with the coupon. So like I said, I went ahead and picked them up, but um, they still were like, you know, maybe about almost, I think seven bucks or six bucks or something like that. So that was still a decent little portion of what I ended up actually paying out of pocket. And so again, too, those were like I said, a a little bit those are probably actually the worst deal i ended up getting in total but let me start off the deodorant that is normal price two dollars 69 cents you get a dollar back from my bottom making it 169 i like to stick around two dollars for personal care products depending on brand and stuff like that but i thought that was a pretty decent price for deodorant so i went ahead and picked that up they also had the sparkling ice um caffeine like you know um like 
cans. Those were $1.49 regular price. They had a dollar off coupon making it 49 cents. Also too, these um, hot and spicy the fire walk um like the um cup of noodles kind of thing those were a regular price a dollar and 65 cents i picked up two for three dollars 30 cents now they had 30 cents off and i thought originally the way it was worded worded was 30 cents off of each so i thought oh if i just buy one i'll get a dollar off or 30 cents off but it actually took 30 cents off both of the items so i ended up getting 60 cents off i paid only two dollars and 70 cents but you get 75 cents back for my bottle which is a limit of two since i bought two i'll get a dollar 50 back so that only made those a dollar and 20 cents or 60 cents each which i think is actually pretty good and my dad and or uh probably i'm not sure that jack really like spicy stuff but my dad or matthew will probably wind up eating these um so like i said that was a really good price for only 60 cents then the mac and cheese these were they didn't have my favorite kind which is the white cheddar kind um but i will i'll try out these other ones but i told you guys how last week i ended up picking up four boxes of the annie's um like uh just the those uh, like cheddar cheese the shell ones um the white cheddar um from aldi for a dollar 44 because they no longer have their like store brands so i was like okay well you know it was the same price i think at walmart so i just went ahead and picked them up um, so these will, though, were on sale $5 for four. I think you had to buy four to get them at that price. But there was also a 50 cent off of, um, of, uh, two coupons. So since I bought four, though, I, like I said, I have to buy four to get them at that price. Um, but I still got 50 cents off for buying two. So making those $4 and 50 cents for the four of them, making those like a dollar and 13 cents each, which again, compared to the 144 that I paid and will have to pay it all because they don't even have a store brand anymore. I thought was not too bad. And I like to have those just again, so that I can do like a quick, um, you know, like a dinner for myself or something like that or a lunch, whatever. Um, so again, I picked those up. Up. then also too they had these mio mayo whatever they are um like little the water enhancers i tried one of these the berry grape kind last night i fell in love with it it actually tastes like um nature made used to make a like a I think it was a B12 vitamin or something like that that was like dissolvable and it tasted just like these and I have been not tasted anything like similar enough to it before so I know it sounds really weird like it tastes like vitamins but those vitamins tasted so good they were like candy and I've never been able to find anything that tastes just like that except these do for some reason so I was super in love with the flavor um I went ahead and picked these up now they're on sale four dollars when you buy two you have to buy two to get them at that price so I paid four dollars but I'll get a dollar back from my bada for buying one which is a limit of five so since i bought two i'll get two dollars back making them two dollars for two or a dollar each now last week i went kind of crazy i bought five of them and got um a dollar back on each because they were on sale for 199 each pretty much the same thing i just paid an extra penny and like i said since i know i love these a lot i will go ahead and pick these up so long as they have that i bought offer available um, and then also too, these Funnables fruit snacks. These are um, normal price, $8.39. But there was a um, 50 cent or 50% off coupon. So that was an M Perks coupon. So I paid $4.19 for those. That was a very high value coupon. Um, but like I said, I paid $4.19 and then you get a dollar back from my bottle for buying one, making them $3.19. That's a really, really good price for fruit snacks. That that works out to be under eight cents per pouch which again i looked compared to like walmart and all these and stuff like that i don't think that they can even beat that price so i thought that's really awesome for picking these up um and then also to the lipton like um noodle soup sort of um like soup uh packets those are um on sale for a dollar and 49 cents and then when you buy two for uh two dollars and 98 cents you'll get a dollar back from my bottle for buying two making them a dollar and 98 cents for two or 99 cents each um so that was a really good deal and then also too with the fiber one these are on sale for 199 now unlike jewel's deal that they had two weeks ago where i ended up not getting them for the proper price um you know with the nature valley and stuff like that well i didn't get fiber one bars but it was similar to that box tops for education thing that they had going on um but you had to buy five of the participating products and one of the five that i bought didn't like bring or count or whatever it was so i ended up paying retail price these you don't have to buy any specific amount it's just buy one and you get it for 199 they're on sale for 199 but um they did wind up having a uh 50 cent off of two coupon so i picked up two 
and then use a 50 cent off two coupon from M Perks, making it $3.84. Then I also ended up getting back um, 50 cents for buying just one for my bada, which again, it will it's a limit of five, so um, I got t uh, a full dollar back for buying the two of them, making them $2.48 for two or $1.24 each, which is a really good price for fiber one, like Nature Valley fiber one bars, those kind of like granola bars and things like that. Normally I'll try and stick to like, really try and stay under like a dollar 75 um a dollar 50 would be a really good price again anything under that i think is really awesome so for a dollar and 25 cents i thought that was great um and then with the nature valley bars these are also on sale for 199 and it was the same thing too they had a 50 cent off of two and perks coupon on the nature valley bar so i paid three dollars and 48 cents however they had um two uh, they have multiple different offers on the nature valley it's not just you know like 50 cent off any of them which is the fiber one we're just off of any five count the nature valley had 25 cents off of the regular like crunchy kind and they had 50 cents off of this new crunchy dipped kind so i got 75 cents back instead making them two dollars and 73 cents for two or a dollar and 37 cents each so um those were again some of those you know like i was saying they had a bunch of different offers for the nature valley depending on which products you ended up picking up i just know when i bought those nature valley the crunchy peanut butter kind we are already out so i went ahead and picked up more of those um, and then also to the Pepperidge Farm um, whole grain bread, the whole grain multi-seed bread, this one that is the new kind, it's on sale for $2.99 and there's 75 cents that you get back from my bodice specifically on that kind, the whole grain multi-seed bread. Um, you get 75 cents back from making it $2.24, which again, I figure this is pretty similar to the um, like the seven grain um, bread that we normally get a lot of times from Aldi, um, like the knock your sprouts off bread, um, which is normally can be anywhere between like $2.99 to like $3.99 sometimes depends on how the stores are feeling that day um so I thought that this was actually a really good price and I think that was similar to Walmart's price when I ended up picking that up so um again I just went ahead and did that deal here with these since they were on sale um and then the silk almond milk that is on sale for $2.99 there was a dollar off coupon making it $1.99 you also get 20 cents back from my bottom making it a dollar and 79 cents so really good deal for that um also to these dumplings these are on sale for $2.99 as well and you, there's a dollar off and perks coupon making them $1.99 I might figure this to do these for dinner at some point because I've got two other boxes of this out in the freezer so I figured this will be really good like um kind of like family meal or something like that I can maybe do it with like rice and stuff like that like you know dumplings and rice kind of um, cause I have a couple of those now. So that's really good for picking it up at that price. Then also too, I was thinking doing these for the Super Bowl. We can get these now. They'll stay good in the, the fridge for a while, but they're on sale for $3 and 29 cents. They are advertised this week with the M Perks coupon as well, which is a dollar off making them $2 and 29 cents. Then also to the, um, the snack crackers, like I was saying, those ended up, um, where they're on sale for $3.49 and there's a 50 cent off two coupon, making those $6 and 48 cents for two or $3 and 24 cents, which is not the best price. But like I was saying, these retail at $4.99. So, um, and that like, that's the same price, but I think is at Walmart even too, if they even carry them. But I thought I was looking the other day. Um, like I said, normally they're fairly expensive, but I don't know why these are just like so, so good. I've only had them like twice because they're so expensive so um i bought more today than i have my entire life <laughs> because like i said they're super expensive but getting them for like nearly almost like you know again a little bit cheaper at least than that like i was like these are actually on sale for a pretty good deal the coupon wasn't really you know all of that much of a better deal but um you know it worked out to be okay um and then the mayonnaise the duke's real mayonnaise that is on sale for um $3.89 is normally $4.69, but it's on sale. And then there's also a dollar you get back from my bottom, making it $3.89. We're very close to being out of mayonnaise, um, like in our pantry too. I think maybe we just have one thing of mayonnaise left in there and we've been going through it kind of quickly. So I'm happy to have this so that we can use it um, you know, it like, you know, have it in the pantry in the future. And that's, I think all these prices either $2.50 or $2.99. So again, I thought that was pretty good for name brand. It was kind of right in the middle. And then also to the ice cream, this, I don't know if this was personalized to me or not, or if everybody's going to have these for some reason, specifically the um, Reese's had a coupon for $5 off of two. They had advertised that there was a dollar off of like the Briars ice cream, but there was a $5 off two specifically 
specifically just on the Reese's. So these are $3.99 normal price. I picked up two and then used that $5 off two coupon. So I paid $3.98 for the two of them or $1.49 each, which is really awesome for ice cream. That beats any other stores, just regular price on ice cream. Um, and then lastly, the same deal as last week with the Dan and Lighten Fit Yogurt that's on sale for $4.49. There's a $1.50 off coupon making it $2.99, which is really good. We like to do like those with parfaits. And I saw Jewel does have strawberries on sale this week, so I can do those um, with, you know, like the strawberries. And we have granola already in the pantry, so I figured that was a really good deal for that. So that was everything I ended up picking up from Meyer. Um, I'm going to get all these things now put away. Um, probably going to actually snack on my Annie's um, organic cheddar snack mix because like you said guys this stuff is so good i i love it like i know that annie's stuff is supposed to be more like geared towards kids i don't care i love their um their mac and cheese their um like i said their snacks um their like cheddar bunnies oh my goodness i think they're better than goldfish i'll be honest but like i said i gotta get all this stuff put away now well guys i'm gonna take a shower now and get to bed i was able to get to some editing i also uploaded earlier today and ended up um also getting some laundry done so that was awesome plus obviously too went to grocery store Sh showed you guys that um and i was able to like i said too i worked a little bit more on my mind your list because it's a little shorter than I originally had. Um, I didn't have a couple of the Ibotta offer deals because I didn't notice them right away and so I went into a little bit more depth and kind of looked them up. Um, so I found some goodies um, you know from doing that and then also too um, we are going to Tony's and Caputo's tomorrow um, to try and just avoid and like get more time on Saturday um, to be able to kind of get things done and on top of that too because Matthew's coming home on Saturday and him and my parents I think have an errand they have to run um so it just makes more sense to try and do it on friday nights and just get those two out of the way and i don't have very much to get at either of the two stores so it should be kind of quick um like you know i didn't have a lot to get at meyer either it seems like this week jewel has got like a couple things going on but again too this week seems like it's going to be a little bit of a less or week um not too much stuff that we have to pick up so anyways though i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys